all right hey guys what's up it's wolf here one only how are my adventurers doing welcome back to another devlog which this is devlog 12. so in this devlog as you guys can see we're placing grass and we're going to be coding it today to where it will actually recognize encounters which is going to be quite fun <laughs> uh, it, it took I think it took like 17 minutes for that part of the video because we're going to be doing two videos in one. Usually I said I was going to do that, but this one was kind of short. If I would have time lapsed it, it would have been like six minutes. I was like, eh, that's a really short video. Maybe I could just do the second one. And the second one took a lot longer because it had a lot of coding in it. So I managed to still make it like 17. Uh, the second part was like an hour <laughs> yeah it was like an hour of footage but you guys will see this this will be sped through that so you don't have to sit here through an hour you can sit here through 17 minutes with me or at least 20 <laughs> if i uh decide to pause the video and talk about anything right now at this part right here i have all my codings in i didn't code it right and also i had the re-record this as you guys saw I had the codes inside of my um what was it I had the codes basically already in my script because the game no it wasn't the game's fault it was my external hard drive that got full and it pretty much corrupted all that footage so I had to re record it from you know as far back as I could <laughs> and if you guys look here, I have an extra S inside of this grass. This is an issue that I fixed later. This is kind of the reason why we're not getting encounters is because I have this extra S here. And I also didn't like, I'm pretty sure I didn't layer one of these right. But uh, you'll see, we'll figure it out. All my coding is right. Well, no, no, actually I can't say that because my, one of my encounter codes were were uh misspelled yeah as quite a bit of misspell mistakes i start changing this it's just to see if that help or anything as you can see i still have no encounters <laughs> I was thinking to myself, did I set it to be too low? I didn't. I didn't set it to be too low. Then I started trying different grass and I'm just thinking here, like, is it, is it my grass? Is my grass just weird? <laughs> it's not the grass either. I'm just stupid. <laughs> I know 17 minutes, you see how long it, it takes me to figure out what I've done wrong. <laughs> I actually enjoy this just because you can make the easiest mistakes easy, like very easily. Like you think you're just copying everything perfectly. Eh, you're not. Yeah, have a few mistakes there. Especially when I'm recording, I feel pressured. I don't know why. Guess that's just me. I'm over here checking settings just to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. Because down here in the console box where I'm covering, down here in this console box, it's supposed to say that you've encountered a monster girl. That's what it's supposed to say. I'm thinking it's like broken or something. It's not. So I'm going through the video again, making sure I got all my coding and stuff right. And I think uh, around this point, I realized that there's an extra S. Yeah, so I, I actually put the S. Yeah, that was the issue. This was one of the issues. Now you guys can see it's telling me that I encountered the monster girl. And there was another issue with my coding. Which was right here. 
my encounter was spelled wrong. I think I fixed it like way earlier. Yeah. Like this isn't turning yellow because I spelled something wrong. If I go back a little bit further, I realize it. Or did I change it before I started recording again? Yeah. Because I'm missing the C here. That's why it's not turning yellow, because I'm missing the C. And it's telling me the encounter name does not exist in the current text. So, I goofed. I goofed. Yep. Okay. Don't worry. It's around time I fixed the grass. Okay, so now we're in part two. This is where all the scripting and adding in Pokemon's, well, in my, in my case, Monster Girls into the game come together. Their stats, their levels, things like that. I'm gonna be scripting all here. Which I kind of sped this one up just cause it's gonna be a lot longer. I did delete a couple of like sitting there parts because <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense to keep it in there inside of a time lapse video. Now I'm changing and making a scriptable object. In my brain, I'm trying to like keep a constant time lapse speed so it can just be like really fluent like this. I think that's one of my issues of why I make so many typos. I'm not going like extremely slow. <laughs> I also figured out that the starting of this, of somebody's codes, always had to be a lowercase. I see why. Well, I've learned why. Now we're putting in typings and everything so the game can understand how many typings we have in. We don't have the advantages in the game yet. That's going to be way further down. Uh, I need to change this to Sprite later because I'm just copying and pasting just to make it a little bit faster. I learned this at the end of the coding because I'm supposed to be able to put in the sprites inside of this location. You're going to see this is a lot of typing. This ain't even half of it either. <laughs> now I'm making a menu for myself for Unity. This is a script so Unity will actually like allow me to create Monster Girls easier. And just add them straight up to the game with stats and stuff. So yeah. Hold on. I was going to pause it just to show that I have a new little menu now. This was actually the most neat thing that I... Uh, that's actually cool about Unity is that you can make it easier on yourself by making yourself like really easy, easy tools. So you could just make something and add it to your game, like down the road, like all that coding, just open create, then monster girl that can make a new monster girl just off that. And now on the sides I have, I can add images, description, the name, their stats, HP, their typings instead of going in and having to code everything individually, stuff like that. Made it a lot easier. Not making a resource file for all this crap so it doesn't just clutter certain areas. 
I gotta add in Tigora and stuff like that. Then Taima. I'm currently in the works of having my um, second monster grow. So it'll probably be towards the end of the month or towards the end of the month to where you guys will see the um, second monster grow being worked on. I'm not in a rush for the design of the rival or the main character at the moment. Though so we could just use test sprites for that and we could just change it later. More interested in getting the monster girls done. Well, the starters done. Once I get the starters done, then I'll, I'll start focusing on those. Then I could just start focusing on way more designs and stuff like that. I could just start going around talking to a lot more five artists than just one. <laughs> The other thing I want to do is kind of like the light novel, light novel chats to where like there's an image on this side of the character talking and there's another image on this side of the character talking. I'm going into my Discord just to get like the lore details that I have in my Discord about each monster girl. <laughs> now I'll just put that in there just in case, you know. Now I got to get Tigora's image. I'll probably have to resize them, if anything. But we're not in that battle phase yet, so we don't we don't fully know how much we're going to have to resize them by. Or what battle background I want. Alright, so now I'm adding in stats. Since my fire type, my fire starter is the only monster girl I have, so I can't make like two different ones. I gotta do like just a second evolve running around somewhere. <laughs> this is all just setting up stuff. This isn't like like set in stone. These these like status stats that I'm setting up for the character. For the monster girls are not set in stone they will be changed these are just placeholder stats we're just creating everything first that helps us do everything a lot easier down the road now we got to set up a level tracker for stats that you find, well, for monster girls that you find in the wild. Now this coding that's coming up was the most tedious one out of everything. A lot of copy and pasting for this one. Uh, the typing's names could be also changed in the future. Yeah, here we go. A lot of copy and pasting and fixing things. <laughs> I also got to change those sprite. Well, those uh, strings to sprite as well.
I believe I did everything right. He didn't show us any way to like test it towards the end. Because next video is going to be moves. And if all the moves are like really easy to set up, I'm going to find somebody who's really good at animations. Like those attack animations are going to be dope. I have a lot of ideas. I say you'll you'll see why this took me like <laughs> an hour now, because <laughs> I also got to do this same thing on another script. But I think the second script that I did this on was actually a lot easier, just because in my head it's just like I only have six codes here, so that's gonna be pretty easy just to copy and paste all this in. <laughs> Because I'm not retyping this in every last fucking... In every last fucking stat. <laughs> so it was just like copy and paste master. <laughs> so I started counting them all. Then just started saying uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> and then I just started changing them. I, I wasn't doing it. I, I just wasn't. <laughs> The thing that makes me curious here is that not all of these stats, not all of these base stats are base. Like, how should I say it? For some reason, max HP is base dot speed. I don't think he ever explained that one. I thought it would be base slash HP, not speed. You'll kind of see towards the end of how it's coded, which kind of threw me off because I thought it was just matching it up with this. Now, these two are speed. And those two are special attack. I'm curious if it was a bug or something. I thought I had, like put these in the wrong place. I did not. So, yeah, that's that's the end. Kind of threw me off a little bit, you know, the first coatings of going through it, but hopefully I'll set it up to the point where I don't have to touch this shit anymore. <laughs> I can just start adding like new things in and just be like, oh, yes, I'm done. I can walk away from this now. <laughs> I don't see that happening. <laughs> the thing I'm looking forward to the most is more than likely quests. Because I, I want to make a very interesting quest system for that. And that's going to require a lot of interesting things. But anyhow, with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. That has been Devlog12. I'll see you guys for the next one later. I should probably upload something else or stream soon. <laughs> I, I just have not been using my time wisely. But yeah, anywho, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until <laughs> then, peace out. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, leave a dislike if you didn't. Whichever one helps me with the interaction, you know, even the comment helps me with the interaction. All three helps me with interactions. Don't forget to sub if you guys are willing to keep up with this as well. But yeah, until then, peace out. to